If your Google Ads account has been completely inactive for 15 months, Google says that they will automatically cancel your account. But there are several reasons why you may want to manually cancel your account. Maybe certain divisions had their own account and certain divisions went away. Companies merged together and you don't need to use old accounts anymore. Or maybe Google Ads just isn't working for you. If that's the case, we will want to show you where to go to cancel your account, what you can view with your data once your account is canceled, and if you do want to bring it back, how to reactivate your Google Ads account. This Pay Media Pros video is sponsored by Optio, the smarter, more efficient way to manage Google Ads. Optio's platform operates as a second pair of eyes on your accounts, regularly monitoring performance trends to make data-driven optimization suggestions for keyword strategies, bid optimizations, ad copy creation, and more. Better yet, you can save time by implementing their suggested changes directly in their user-friendly interface. Optio is extending their free trial period for Paid Media Pros viewers for 60 days, meaning you get two full months of testing and using Optio on your accounts before you pay a dime. If you're interested in giving it a shot, click the link on the screen right now or in the video description to get started. The first thing we need to discuss would be the requirements needed to cancel a Google Ads account. From an individual login perspective, you need to have admin access to the account and billing needs to already be set up for your account. Odds are your account's been running for a while, so billing shouldn't be an issue, but we have run into issues a lot of times with clients that they've tried to set up an account several times. It creates a bunch of dummy accounts that they've never closed out before. So if you don't have billing set up, you're not going to be able to cancel or close these accounts out. You would have to work with support. Again, that was for the individual login process for canceling. If you have an MCC account and you want to cancel one of the accounts under your MCC, you need to have admin access to the MCC account and the MCC needs to have ownership of the account that it is managing. So if you have issues canceling your account or going through any of the steps that we're going to talk at in this video, double check to make sure that you have proper access to both the admin and billing side. And let's say for whatever reason, the creator of the account or the only admin isn't with the company anymore, or you don't have access to the email address or login, you're going to need the customer ID, the email, which you no longer have access to, all of the account billing information, and then you're going to have to go through the wonderful process of working with Google Ads support. So if you're in that position where you don't know who the admin is, I can't cover that in this video. You're going to have to take all those requirements and try to work with Google support. So now we can just cover where you can go to cancel Google Ads. Within the new interface, head to the gear section, which is your admin, and then go to account settings. At least in our view, the second row is account status. There's the link to cancel the account. You could click on it. I'm not even going to try. I understand this is just our demo account, but I don't want to mess anything up. There could be another pop-up, but I know this is where you go. You can also access this same setting if you go to preferences, and then there's account status in this row here and there's the exact same thing where you can cancel the account. So now we have to talk about what happens to your account after you cancel it. So let's cover those things. First thing is that your ads will automatically stop within 24 hours of canceling. So it's not an immediate, everything shuts off. If you need that to happen, still go into your campaigns, ad groups, whatever, and pause everything. I don't recommend removing everything, just go in and pause everything if you need to make sure everything will stop immediately. So again, after you cancel, could be up to 24 hours before things stop serving. The next big change will happen to be with your audiences. So I'm going to go to tools, go to my shared library, click on audience manager. There's nothing that you need to do in here. I just wanted to show you a certain view of what to expect. So all of your remarketing audiences that you have built within Google ads, website visitors, YouTube engagement, app interactions, even your customer list within the member status, they are going to change to closed. Meaning the second you cancel your account, these lists will stop building. Then Google states that there is a process to start removing this data from the account. And all of these following steps can happen within a month after your account is canceled. The first is all of the remarketing lists that I just mentioned will change the membership duration to one day. It's essentially removing all of the cookied or saved users from your remarketing lists. Since there is an option in Google Ads to share remarketing lists over manager accounts, if you're not familiar with that, here's a video about it right here, any other account that is potentially using any of these remarketing lists will no longer be able to use those remarketing lists. And then the final step with your remarketing audiences is that any parameters for dynamic remarketing will also be deleted within the month after account cancellation. So now your ads aren't running anymore after 24 hours, your remarketing list will be squeezed to nothing within a month. The next thing we should probably talk about, and one that you should be concerned with, would be billing. 
what happens with billing after you cancel your Google Ads account. And just for visual sake, I just went to the billing section. After you've canceled the account, if there is any refundable credit left in the account, Google says you should receive it within four to 12 weeks after cancellation. If you pay by credit card, debit card, directly through the bank account, that process is typically faster. If you're paying by any other sort of fund transfer, you may need to work with your bank account to send details to Google in order to get the refund back. Now to view any refund activity, there's this billing activity section. Clearly we're not gonna have anything in our account. Since the refund or credit would be the last action performed, you should see it towards the top in terms of any sort of balance given back to the account. Now that's if you have a credit. We never talked about the flip side because you could definitely owe Google money after you have canceled your account. If you do have a balance within Google Ads, Google will automatically charge whatever you have set up as your primary payment option within the next 31 days. It's pretty much all the charges that were accrued before you canceled that they haven't billed yet. So again, it's gonna charge your primary payment option. So make sure you go to payment methods and confirm that your primary option is the one that you wanna use for this final charge. If you need to set up other backup options, go ahead and do it. And for whatever reason, if billing settings are of any interest to you, we do have another video covering the billing section right here. Now clearly in the video, we keep saying that you're canceling your account. You're not deleting it. So that means for whatever reason, at any point, you can go back and reactivate your account. For that, we would need to go back to admin. And this time, the only option would be preferences. And then that's where you need to go back to account settings. And then you'd be able to reactivate the account. And then when you reactivate your account, all enabled campaigns, ad groups, ads, keywords, they'll automatically start running again. If you did what I recommended earlier and paused everything, any paused elements will not automatically re-enable. You will have to go back to those specific elements and reactivate or enable them yourselves. So reactivating in this view is pretty much what would happen on the individual level. From the MCC level, you may have trouble seeing a cancel account. It depends on how you have your accounts filtered. Let me show you. Our MCC still has the old view, so it might be in a different spot if they're implementing the new UI from the MCC level. But you see that there's a filter for account status, and then you can choose to find any canceled accounts. Then click apply, and I have to see if we have any here. There's one with the red X. I know everything is blurred out, but I would then be able to go into that account if it wants to come back, go into preferences, and reactivate it. When you do cancel an account, all of the data will still be there. You're not deleting anything, so you will be able to go in and review any historic metric. That's fine. Now we're just talking about Google Ads. If you cancel your Google Ads account, it will always live there. But for whatever reason, if you delete your entire Google account, all Google products associated with that email will be fully deleted, whether it's your Gmail. I understand if you sign up for a Google account with your work email, whatever is associated with that Google account will be deleted. That is when you cannot use those products again. The perfect example is the work email. Someone created a Google account with their work email. They no longer work for that company. Someone in IT or whatever deleted it completely. And now the company wants to get back into this Google Ads account. Well, the Google account was deleted. So now the Google Ads account was deleted as well. Big heads up if you do manage multiple team members and all of their Google accounts. Besides the 15 month period of inactivity when Google will cancel it for you, this type of canceling is a manual task. This has nothing to do with account suspensions, disapprovals, any of that. That is a totally separate process. But that's essentially what you really need to know about canceling your Google account and reactivating it if you want to bring it back. If you have any questions about this process that I may not have covered in this video, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button. 